All right, good morning, Fulton, Missouri. This is your mayor, Lau Cannell, here with what I hope will be the start of something that the citizens of Fulton will get something beneficial out of. <clears throat> to start with, I want to kind of explain what, what the goal is here and what, what the listener can expect. Um, so this broadcast will hopefully, you know, take between 20 and 30 minutes. Uh, the plan here is to, at least to start with, to do this along with our mayor's morning, mornings with the mayor program. Um, it'll be recorded right here on site and then will be made available either through our website or we'll stream it through social media, something like that. I don't know how, how that all works, but, but we'll make it available. Um, the format here will be questions sort of in just conversation with a guest or maybe a couple of guests, maybe a brief commentary uh, by myself on any pressing city issues that might be going on either uh, before or after, during, uh, whatever whatever that, that may be. But uh, we'll adjust that as we go. But we might also take uh, questions from the public at some point. Um, it might just be me and our guests listening here, so we don't know what's going to happen. This is all new to us, but we're, we're trying to, to uh, roll with, with society and, and do something new here. So, so right now I'll tell you, uh, we're here at Rec Le Legends Recplex. Um, I'm happy to say we have had some customers here this morning to see the mayor. We had a couple folks uh, here to talk to us a little bit about their experience here so i'll introduce our guests right now we've got being thrown at this pretty uh, early or late in the game uh charlene mccarter clay's uh, right hand person uh, and, right. and of course clay caswell here this morning so thank you guys for being here um before we begin uh since this is the first podcast i'll say a couple of things um thanks to start with for you guys for being here, being my test subjects. Um, I know this was sort of a experiment to, to try to see if we can get folks into Legends Recplex, this, this facility. Um, so that's what we're here for. That's, that's the reason. Um, but, uh, but we're, we're here today. I kind of have, uh, some goals in mind but really the main goal is to to just get a little bit more information out to the citizens uh we we have our city council meetings a lot of times but it's hard to get into depth on some things so so i kind of hope that we'll be able to to dig a little bit deeper into some of the city topics that that go on from time to time so um but we'll try to have conversations also with other staff members uh, i know clay is an exciting personality and we're, we're glad to have him this morning i'm thinking of some other folks that will also have over time to join us um, but uh, but whatever it is that that's interesting to the to the citizens of this community that's what we're here for um, but uh, so today we're going to kick this off um, we're, we're here with clay and joining us you know of course charlene we to start with, give us just a, a little snippet of who you are, wh how long you've been with the city, Clay, and then as you, as well, you, Charlene. Well, I'm, I'm the Parks and Rec Director. I've been here about going on 16 years. Um, you know, just grew up in Fulton and, uh, you know, just very excited to, to provide recreational activities for the, for the community. I'm Charlene McArthur, and I've been with the city going on 14 years, and um, I've been in Parks and Rec pretty much all my life, and I love what I do. So, thanks for having me. And I'll tell you what, folks, it's wonderful to have uh, lasting careers in our staff and, and folks that, that want to be here that have made a difference and care about where this place has been and where it's going, and we have that. So, thank you, guys. I appreciate all that you, you do. So, um, with the Recplex here, we, we, how long have you been here? It's been a few months. We, we officially opened June 2nd, um, you know, so we're going on about four months. It's uh, been a few growing pains as we went along. Um, starting to really add a lot of new programs. Um, Charlene's been working on some new programs. Um, she's also been helped by our facility manager, Luke. Um, he's doing a great job. He's been with us for about almost five months now. And uh, so I think we're, we're starting to settle in a little bit. We're, um, 
we're starting to get more programs going and uh, we're seeing the memberships increase almost on a daily basis. So a lot of exciting stuff going on here and, and we're just uh, very, very busy, very busy getting everything going. Yeah, absolutely. And Charlene, I know you've you've seen every day what's been going on. Are you seeing more people come through the door? Yeah, um, I would say definitely. We have a lot of people that come in, want to do tours. Um, I would say the front desk staff does a great job at showing them th the facilities and the benefits of being at this facility, as well as we get a lot of memberships out of that. So I think that um, slowly and steadily, we have been uh, month after month just adding to the membership, which has been great. Yeah, and I'll echo that. I've been coming here myself, but uh, it's it's just going to take some time, I think, um, to get the membership up where it, where it needs to be. It's it's brand new though, so let's you know hopefully uh, we'll we'll see a, a continuing trend on that. Um, but uh, so I know people would be interested to hear about a little bit of some of the construction phase of this project. I know that's um, that's history for us but that was just recent and we did go through um, some some grown you know issues here with uh, I know probably the biggest thing was the flooring uh, we had some yeah, problems with yeah. that you want to talk about that a little bit well I'm trying to forget about it but yeah I know I'll, right <laughs> um, I think we we started in uh, help if I'm wrong here Charlene tell me November of 19 um, we were supposed to be done in November of 20 and we didn't get finished till about the spring of 21. So that, that, that's right. kind of the timeline. Um, it, a lot of things, I mean, I say it went fairly smooth, the whole construction process, you know, there was there were some bumps in the road as we went. Um, we did not get affected by COVID as much as I thought we would. Um, there was a couple of times where we, um, maybe some of the subcontractors were affected by COVID, but uh, they were pretty steady. Um, River City was good to work with. Um, they constructed this facility, and uh, we would have liked to have had it open maybe at the beginning of uh, 2021, but uh, um, we're just happy to have it open. Yep. Yeah, I, I remember um, walking through this place probably a few months into it, and it was barely safe for, for guys like yeah. me to be, be in this yeah. facility, and there were already things that you guys were catching that that maybe weren't as what we thought they would be yeah. going going through the building and they were addressed at that time and i think the final product ended up being what uh, what we paid for and what we expected um, albeit there might be a few things that aren't perfect about it but that's with any project i think yeah yeah and, and i think our, our goal in the beginning we wanted this to be a true multi-purpose facility and, and i think that's what we have um, when people tour it they're the comments we get a lot is like you can do a lot of different things here you know you can there's a lot of things to do so and, and that's our goal and as we start to add more programming and more activities um i think you're going to see a lot of the areas used for a lot of different things yeah i think the possibilities are endless obviously um now i want to talk just a minute about i've been hearing pickleball that's something cool for old dudes like myself <laughs> <laughs> Charlotte, tell me what is pickleball? Are we doing that now? I see the, the nets up there. Yeah, so we started last month offering pickleball. Um, we'll always continue probably to offer it. Um, we started through the weekday, um, Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays at different times and availabilities. Um, we had some feedback that um, people would appreciate some weekend time. So this month we started um, uh, offering it on a Sunday, um, as well as we're going to have open play for ping pong and badminton as well. So um, pickleball has been a very popular thing throughout the community. Um, not too long ago we added a pickleball court um, in Veterans Park outside. Um, so we just want to have another outlet for people to utilize and and um, we definitely appreciate the feedback as to when people, you know, enjoy doing those activities. So um, we appreciate, you know, people letting us know so that we can offer more times and more availability for different activities here. So exactly. And, and I would just add that's kind of our approach to the whole Parks and Rec Department. You know, if, if people want to see something, if they want an activity or if they want us to offer something, um, we're going to give it a try. 
and it, it, it may work it may not work but uh that's and i good. think that's something people don't know that that there's a lot of stuff that you guys do try that that may not work but at least you have that open-mindedness to be able, willing to to try new things yes, and definitely. i think we could circle back a little bit to a guy that came in this morning to talk to us um you know about taking feedback from citizens and, and wanting that either correct corrective criticism or whatever the case may yeah. be and and that's important that we yeah. hear from the citizens what they want yeah definitely and, and we're always open to suggestions um you know sometimes we can do we can make the changes sometimes we can't so but uh we definitely like to hear the feedback from the community and it helps us with our programming it helps us with our maintenance um it's just it, it's a good thing definitely so so are there any other programs that you know or, or maybe new or that people don't know about that are you're trying to get kicked off i know some of the other the traditional things are happening uh which zoom bike is that traditional <laughs> i don't know i've been hearing about it for several years yeah now, so that's it's, going it's, on. A, it's a class we've offered for some time um now we kind of have a dedicated facility for it um we, we have a lot of programs going on right now we're busy with youth soccer youth flag football in november we have our annual turkey trot 5k run um we have a trout fishing tournament for kids in November, oh, and yeah. uh, again the Festival of Lights. That's our uh, holiday lighting display. That's that's going to be in December. So you know, outside Legends, we got a lot of things going on. Um, inside Legends, um, we got youth basketball coming up. Um, we should have probably, uh, hopefully, we'll have several teams in that. Um, we, we're going to have youth volleyball later in the winter, and. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of these drop-in nights, like Charlene mentioned, the ping pong, the the uh, badminton. We're gonna have a video game night where kids can come in and just challenge each other on video games. So we we try to do some structured recreation, but we also want a lot of informal recreation where people can just drop in and and have something to do for an evening. And for me, that's a, the thing is going to be time. You know, I find it's tough to carve out a time for me to come up here and you know whether it may be pickleball I don't know if I'll be able to do that or not because of time but I do make time in the mornings you know the 24-hour availability makes it pretty nice to be able to come and go and if you want to talk about that a little bit yeah definitely I mean that, that was something that was that was came about because of the feedback we were hearing from the community they wanted 24-hour access um, you know, we we have a community that works a lot of varied hours so they can't always be here seven o'clock at night um, some of them we get a lot of people that come in at two in the morning and work out so it's i think we're seeing a lot of use um, people like the quick access they can get in they can get out and uh, i think it's it's very popular um, I would add to that. I don't think a lot of people know that, you know, you don't just have a cardio and a weight room 24 hours. You have a track, you have a basketball arena, you have a turf area. So all those areas are accessible um, to the public that they can use at any point in time. So I think that's a real big added bonus to the 24-hour fitness. Um, those areas currently aren't, you know, secluded. So those areas can be used at any time in point in day. So yeah and and it's pretty nice some days you know i'll want to visit with people other days i don't i'll come i'll come in and, and know that i will be able to come in this place not really have to talk to anybody i don't have to fix my hair ha ha <laughs> <laughs> but you know really some days you just want to get in and get your workout and get out of here yeah so that makes it nice yeah definitely but uh so I think we've hit on a lot of things here this morning. Um, is there anything else that you guys want to talk about? Um, I think we'll probably keep doing this at some point. Yeah. Maybe, you know, we're going to keep doing the mornings with the mayor on, on the first weekend of the month, first Monday of the month. Um, and we'll try to keep incorporating some kind of version of this podcast, guys. If this is what you guys want to hear, give us some feedback and uh we'll we'll uh do our best to try to make this fun and interesting <laughs> so thanks thanks again clay uh charlene and and darren for helping us put this together and and i hope to see everyone come out and enjoy legends recplex yeah thank, thanks for having us and i'll just remind everybody again um 
Mondays with the mayor. It's the first Monday of every month, 7 a.m. Um, it's uh, first two hours, six, what's our time? 6.30 to eight, you can work out for free. Um, so if you wanna come in, get a workout, visit with the mayor, uh, it's a great time to do that. You can, you can share any information you want with them or ask them questions. And, and Clay is personally making the coffee. It's pretty good and he's, <laughs> <laughs> he's never made it before yeah. so he, he passed the test this morning. I might pass that along to my assistant. Oh, no, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> Well, yeah, definitely thanks for having us this morning. Yep, very cool. Yeah, thank you. All righty, guys, we'll, we'll sign off. Uh, have a good day, everyone.